have I balanced a tiny Christmas tree on my sofa in order to try and make this look slightly festive? <laughs> Maybe. Tell no one. Five o'clock, solve world hunger. Tell no one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well. This is a nice little setup, isn't it? I'm feeling well cozy. Having kind of got a bit more creative this year, kind of, I've kind of let my crafty side like run wild into the wind and the waves this year. I started a new little venture and I opened up a little online shop, basically just to sell cool little things whenever I have a little bit of inspiration of something that I want to make. It's no deeper than that really. Uh, I just really love creating and making stuff and it seemed like a cool new little venture. I don't want to talk too much about mine because that's not what this video is about. Basically the support for my little shop Goldust Road was way more than I was expecting. Um, it's been such a cool experience and the support that a lot of you guys have shown me by like buying something, checking it out, sharing the shop um, has been pretty incredible. So it only felt right to me that I would try and pay that back into the universe. Obviously I'm very, very lucky in that I have a platform already and that kind of gave me a bit of a springboard when it came to opening a little shop online. But yeah, as I said, it felt only right for me to pay my luck back into the universe um, and dedicate a whole video to my followers, small shops. I put the call out on Instagram Oh, calling all small businesses. I checked out every single one, trust me. They were all incredible. I had a really, really tough time narrowing this down. Um, I wish I could have supported all of you, but I have spent quite a lot of my life savings on making this video. <laughs> I bought as much as I could. Um, and this is gonna be a little rundown of me shopping my followers' small shops. And I guess a little bit of a gift guide as well. But as I said, every single one that was sent in was amazing. I'm completely blown away by how awesome and clever and creative you all are. So let's get cozy. Let's talk little small shop Christmas gift guide. I wish I'd bought a hot drink. I can't believe I didn't. I can't bottle of water. It's not very Christmassy, is it? Okay, let's get cracking. So first things first, this is probably one of my favorite small shops ever. I'm gonna put it out there. It's right up the top. And this is a brand called So Botanical, um, which is spelt so as in I love sitting by the hearth and sewing. So Botanical are like sewing and embroidery kits. You can either just buy the patterns or you can buy the full kits with all the threads and stuff included. Um, and you might remember this one that I did way back in like central lockdown of this little sideboard with loads of cactuses and succulents on it. If you are into your embroidery kits, rock and roll my friends, um, you will know that trying to find a cool embroidery kit is is a quest only taken on by the bravest among us. But the So Botanical ones are just beautiful. So I picked up this one, which is like almost like a desert window scene. These guys are just the coolest. They're so original. They're so fun to do. There's all sorts of ability levels there. Um, and that would make a really nice gift, I think, if you've got a friend who's a little bit crafty um, and they like to kind of, you know, keep their hands busy while they're watching the telly or whatever. Or if you fancy undertaking something a bit more crafty, um, I really, really recommend these guys. You get such a beautiful, little outcome when you are finished and they're really really fun to do and you'll actually want this on your wall no more cross-stitched puppies my friend okay next up let's do this one because these are so beautiful so this little shop is november and may obviously i will link all of these in the description box down below for you to go and check out um, but this is november and may and this is definitely one for all the pin lovers out there Ladies and gentlemen, get yourselves on the dance floor. One for all the pin lovers out there. As you may know, I'm not really sure. How often do I talk about this? Anyway, I collect pins. Um, it's one of the, in fact, it might be the only thing I collect apart from anxiety. And there is nothing that I can resist less than a beautiful enamel pin, trust me. Um, so as soon as I saw these, I was like, well, I have been good this year. So this is a gold enamel pin in the shape of like a cosmic witch. I'm all about that, what an absolute vibe. She's got a little cat poking out of her witch's hat, which is super cute. There's like stars and moon dusted all over her hair. And she's just everything I wanna be really. If I could get my act together, this would be me and Flo. And I was just gonna get that one by itself, uh, but I also spotted this little one as well, which is a little wand pointing into the, the star speckled night sky, which I just thought was really beautiful. I love the contrast of the black with the gold. The packaging is absolutely beautiful and I can't fault these, they're absolutely flawless. Really, really beautiful work, I love them. And as if the beautiful pins weren't enough on their own, um, November and May also have some really beautiful little illustrated bits and bobs as well. Um, so we've got a couple of bookmarks here of like little seasonal witches 
which are just so stinking cute. And there's also some little matching postcards as well. An absolute little gem. I cannot wait to add these to my pin collection. I actually think I might need to expand. I currently have them on like a little felt banner, but it's getting slightly out of hand to say the least. So uh, I think I might need to upgrade to a pin board soon. You know it's getting serious when there's a pin board involved. Oh, I have to do this one next because I was literally blown away when this arrived. This little small shop really, really stood out to me. Um, from all the ones that got sent in, um, this was definitely one of the most unique, like just beautiful little bits and bobs. Um, so this is by Lucy Laslett Designs and she works with glass and dried flowers basically. And the two shall combine to create something quite frankly beautiful. So the flowers that you can see kind of pressed into the glass are all completely like arranged and the whole thing is designed completely by Lucy, which is so amazing. Um, she sent me the little picture to double check that I like the arrangement that she'd gone for. I basically just said to her like warm tones, oranges, creams um, and we'll be good to go. So she put this little one together and it's just perfect. I just think this is absolutely like exquisite. That's the word I'm gonna go for, exquisite. X to the Z, exquisite, exquibit? What are words anymore? <laughs> How nice is this? Just sitting and going through really cool things that you guys have made. I'm loving life right now. Oh, you're joking. Me Christmas trees toppled over. It's, they think it's all over. <laughs> Oh, well, that's very tragic looking, isn't it? There's really nothing like sitting down to efficiently and succinctly film a video and then having to decorate a Christmas tree halfway through. <laughs> Why am I the least efficient person that's ever been born? Not looking quite as, as perfectly decorated as it once was. Um, but who really is after this year? Okay, next one. This is definitely the small shop for you if you consider yourself to be a bookworm, which I'll say I very proudly do. Don't, I don't rate myself on many worm-like qualities, but bookworm. So this is a little shop called Folklore Book Sleeves, actually run by a girl who I went to school with. Real grammar, am I right? <laughs> so this is the little book sleeve that I chose from Folklore. She has a whole range of fabrics going on. They've all got like a bit of like an ethereally, fairy tale-y, cozy kind of vibe to the fabrics, which I really love. It took me a very long time to decide which one to choose. But in the end, I went for this one, which is like a really dark foresty green color with loads of gold detail to it. And basically it's a lovely snug little place to keep your book if you're heading out and about or around the house, I guess, um, to kind of look after your book, protect it. She sells them in different sizes. So you can get, I think you can get e-reader, paperback and hardback, um, which is really cool. So this is the paperback size because I'm a bit of a paperback kind of gal. There's something very wholesome about the idea of like slipping your book into a little sleeping bag. <laughs> I don't know, it kind of warms my heart. Um, so yeah, huge fan of this. I think it's absolutely adorable and it's so beautifully made. It's really, really wonderful quality. I would say the next three are kind of like a little bit of a, a similar kind of vibe, a similar little trio. Um, so if you like your cute stationery, your little bits and bobs, perfect little stocking stuffers, just like general little cute things. I'm, I just love little cute things. So if that sounds right up your street, you're gonna love these three. So let's start with this one. This is from Oh Laura, really fun very kind of girly and brightly colored I love the kind of color scheme she uses and there's a lot of like great little slogan pieces in Laura's shop um, so the first thing that I literally could not resist is this little mug which says cautiously optimistic <laughs> I literally just love that I feel like that sums me up so well I'm like cautiously optimistic like this could be be okay. This is like the perfect Monday morning mug for me. Um, so I really, really love that. I thought this was great. Then I couldn't resist this little tick list. I'm a big fan of tick lists. I mean, yes, you could draw your own tick list. Pens exist, but why would you do that when you could have a bright pink one that says, what fresh hell is this? <laughs> really, really enjoying that. That's a really great vibe for a to-do list, I think. Like, what fresh hell is this? What have I created for myself? And then I also, obviously picked up a notepad because if you can turn down a notepad, you're a better man than I, my friend. This is also very me. This is a little stripy notepad that says, everything is completely under control. <laughs> it never is, but at least the notepad says it is. So it's all this kind of really cute, candy colored, girly little range with phrases on that 
speak straight to my soul. This next little bunch of things I showed on Instagram recently <laughs> and got so many replies like, oh my God, I need to buy this. And I think a lot of you guys are gonna love this as well because probably my biggest plot twist of 2020 is that my Gilmore Girls video did really well. <laughs> I literally made that video just for myself because I needed to talk about Gilmore Girls. Um, turns out that's one of my most successful videos of the year. <laughs> so <laughs> expect more Gilmore Girls content. With that in mind, I obviously couldn't resist this little range brought out by a shop that I've followed for ages called Dorkface. I won't refer to her as Dorkface personally because <laughs> it feels, feels a little weird when I don't know her particularly well. Um, I'm gonna call her Gemma, that's her real name. She bought out a Gilmore Girls range. I just hit myself in the face with a tassel, but you know I was all over it. But this little notepad has got such cute little illustrations. We've got the Stars Hollow gazebo, we've got the Life and Death Brigade little bits, Luke's diner, Luke's cap, the no cell phone sign, obviously a little coffee cup and one of Rory's books, I guess. Uh, and on the back it says, coffee please and a shot of cynicism, which is one of my favorite um, Gilmore Girls quotes. It's actually also a dotted notepad, which I love, mini bullet journaling. Um, so I'll definitely get loads of use out of that. I then also bought the little bookmark with a tassel on it. It says, I live in two worlds. One is a world of books. And then the other side says, coffee please and a shot of cynicism. I think she added this in. I don't think I added this to my order. Maybe I did, I can't remember. Um, but it's a little pocket mirror with the Luke's logo on it. So if you are a Gilmore Girls fan, I know your heart will skip 10 beats over this like mine did. But Gemma also has some really great products for the office if you're a big fan of the US office. She has some amazing little pins. She does kind of like fan merch for a few different franchises, um, but obviously. Gilmore Girls was the one for me. I just love her stuff. Her style of illustration is so cute. And then I feel like this is like completing the little holy trifecta of stationary goodness for this haul. <laughs> also grabbed a few little goodies from Psy by Polly recently. Um, you will already know Psy. I feel like they've really blown up on Instagram this year. The main thing that you might know that I have from Psy um, is the little sign that we have above our cooker in the kitchen that says what's for tea. Whenever that pops up in a vlog, I always get asked about it and that's where it's from. So again, really cute little stocking stuffers. And I feel like Psy is also like a really good like friendship gift kind of brand. I first of all bought this little checklist. I love the kind of pastel-y, lilac -y colors. They're like sweetie colors. And um, it says working on myself for myself. I thought that was really cute. The whole range I could have picked up to be honest, but I tried to be, tried to be restrained. And also this little enamel key ring, which I love so much. It says surviving and thriving and it's got a little a-okay hand on it. Um, but I love that the, the engraving on it is like pink glitter. I love that design. I love the little message. That would be such a nice little Prezi. Um, sigh, killing it. Right, we're getting there. I was gonna try and be really concise and short with these so that I could get to the point and whiz through them all. It's not my strength, is it? Let's be honest. Let's do these next. I've had these for ages, um, but I'm glad I've got a few left so that I can actually show you. These are from one of my favorite Instagrammers. I think her Instagram handle is blush and noise, I wanna say. She's got like a really awesome retro fashion sense, which I just love. She started her own little wax melt company over on Etsy. It's called Sunshine Soul. I really like the branding of this. I was gonna place an order anyway, cause I just wanted to support her business. But then I saw one of the scents that they do is tobacco vanille, like vanilla tobacco. In case you couldn't figure that out for yourself, <laughs> why did I even bother saying that? Did you know that tobacco vanille means vanilla tobacco. They're little heart shapes and I think these are probably my favourite wax melt I've ever had. They make the room smell incredible. The scent is so amazing. So this is the number one scent that I would recommend with my French knowledge. And the other one that I bought, oh it's all over my leggings, but I also bought another little bag as well. I can't remember what this scent is but it's very kind of zesty. I want to say maybe it was lime? I can't remember. But it's very kind of zesty and fresh and we put this one on in the kitchen sometimes and it just smells incredible. They're really, really lovely wax melts and they weren't too expensive either. So I really recommend those. This is something a little bit different. I probably should have tried to categorize these. When I wrote my list, I did categorize them. That's gone out the window. A little bit of homeware, a little bit of cactus action. These little babies are from a little brand called Allo Cutie as in like aloe vera cutie, but also as in like, hello cutie. Whoever that is is a creep, don't let them in. I couldn't resist these. I thought they were absolutely adorable. So you can buy just the pots by themselves, 
I seem to remember. I'll correct myself in the description if not. But they're little painted concrete pots, so it's all different designs and colours, um, but I really like these little terracotta ones. And then you can also have the little cactuses and succulents like ready to go in there when you order. They arrive in perfect condition, they're absolutely lovely, and I'm obsessed with them, I think they're so cute. This would also be a very cute little present. So I've got this one, which is like a lovely terracotta colour, which has got a little fluffy... Oh, he's not too spiky. He's a little bit spiky, but not too spiky. Mostly fluffy. This little fluffy boy, and then also this little spiky boy. It's like Spiker and Sponge from James and the Giant Peach. Well, I've named them, so that's, that's sorted. So it's a really nice way to be able to send a little kind of desktop Prezi to someone you love. I'm actually gonna pop them right on my fireplace, right here. They should be all right on there. Spiker and Sponge. These in particular, I had to buy these and you're gonna see why. So these are from a little shop called Atomic Crafts, as in like Atomic Crafts. And from there, I bought these awesome little 70s retro crochet baubles. I love these so much. The super talented wee gal who created these actually messaged me to say that she'd been watching my videos and took inspo for making this one. So obviously I had to buy this. I was honored. A ball ball with me in mind. Don't mind if I do. But then I also saw the colors of this one and thought they'd be really cute on the tree together. Um, they are absolutely stunning. I love the colors of them so much. I feel like these are absolutely timeless and they're very, very beautifully made. They're made with heart and soul and I absolutely love them. I'm so excited to put these on the tree. They've been sitting in this pile while I wait for everything to arrive. Um, so I am extremely excited to finally put these on the tree. And last but not least, definitely last but not least, um, this is a little small shop called We Made This Studio. I really loved the little handmade hair accessories that they do. Um, so I'm just reading the little note card that's come with this. It says, all of our accessories are handmade by us in an ethical and environmentally conscious way. We hope you'll love your purchase as much as we enjoy making it. Cute, I'm sure I will. Oh no, this isn't the last one. I've just found something else hiding in this box, um, but we're gonna end on a great note. So I'll put that to one side for now. So sticking to the ball ball theme, the first thing I bought was not a hair accessory, but a ball ball. I love the colors. I love the style. I thought this was really, really sweet. It actually matches this room perfectly. Now that's coordination. But I think their main kind of vibe is hair accessories. So I love this little hair band. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, it's so soft. It's so silky. And there's my new hairband. So cute. I'm really into hairbands at the moment, so I definitely wanted to pick one of those up. I love that. Um, and then also, I'm a big scrunchie wearer. I wear scrunchies every single day. I've got this really, really big poofy one in these lovely kind of peachy tones, which is really, really pretty. And then this, which is more of like a silky, satiny kind of color. They're just really sweet, absolutely beautifully made, all handmade, all ethical and sustainable. And I feel like they're the type of thing that you would see in like Oliver Bonus or Anthropology or somewhere. But rather than your money going to a big brand, it's going to someone who's put their heart and soul into making them. So I'm a huge fan of those. I'm even gonna leave the hairband on. Why not? Okay, and definitely last but not least, absolutely not least because these are freaking adorable <laughs> i cannot get enough of these um so this is a little brand called crafty glass london um and it's pretty much what it says on the tin it is really cute unusual little crafted glass ornaments i saw that she'd done like a van's shoe i think i saw there was a Shits creek one um, all sorts of stuff. I feel like you could name it and she could turn it into a really cute little glass ornament. But my favorite thing that I've seen that she does is these little Christmas decorations. I'm hoping you're gonna be able to see these properly because they are just the sweetest thing I think I've ever seen. So first up, there's a little Christmas pud. Um, there's a little hook on the top so that you can put a ribbon through it and hang it on the tree or hang it in the window. That is just, I mean, that's literally too cute for words, isn't it? And then I think this might be my favorite, a little Brussels sprout. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only Brussels sprout I've ever liked in my whole existence, but I love him more than words can say. What an absolute little pair these two are. I thought these were so unique and such a cool talent. Um, I didn't really see anything else like this coming into my inbox. I can't wait to hang these up. <laughs> I think they're so cute. And now I am 
surrounded by an explosion of adorable things. So that's it. We made it to the end of my small business haul. Well, I say mine, but it's actually my followers' small business hauls. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, and thank you even more if you head over to any of these shops to check them out or maybe place a little order for yourself. I am totally blown away by how amazing and talented you guys are. And I will definitely do this again. So thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to have a chat with you in the comments. Let me know which of these bits and bobs was your favorite. If you're gonna pick up any of them for yourself. If you run a little small business and you'd like me to check it out, leave it in the comments. Take care and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye! Mwah.